Hello, my name is Randy Bowling, and I work for Equalizer Systems. And I'm going to walk you through on some of our components and how we work on them. And today, the component that we're going to talk about is our hydraulic cylinders. And there's a couple of things that can happen with our hydraulic cylinders. You can have a jack leak, a fitting leak, a hose leak, or you can have a cylinder bypass. So the first thing that I'm going to walk you through is the points that you can have a jack leak. You can have a jack leak by a weld where there's a seam. You can have a jack leak where the fitting goes into the cylinder. You can have a jack leak where the hose goes to the fitting. And that's on the top of the cylinder, like the bottom of the cylinder as well. And you can see the welds, you can see the fittings, and the hose points. Another point that it can leak is this bottom seal. And on this bottom seal, if it does leak, you will see hydraulic fluid going down this silver shaft and pulling up on the foot pad. Now if you have a fluid leak on the top of the jack, it will also leak down the jack all the way until it gets to the silver shaft and also pull on the foot pad. Now if you have a fitting leak or a weld leak, you will see the fluid residue on the cylinder. If you don't see any fluid residue at the top or at the bottom fittings, then it has to be leaking from the bottom seal. One other component we want to talk about is the cushion ring on the bottom of the cylinder. This is not a seal, it's not a sweep. This cushion ring is designed so when the foot pad is up against the bottom of the jack, it's for anti vibration, so when you're traveling down the road. So if anything happens to this cushion ring, if it falls down, or if there's rocks on your foot pad and it comes up and cuts the cushion ring, that's okay. It is not damaging the seal of the jack. The other issue that you can have with our cylinders is what we call cylinder bypass. And when a cylinder bypasses, what will happen is fluid will come past the piston on the inside of the cylinder, and then it will actually force the foot pad down. So when you have a cylinder bypass, if the jack legs are retracted like this, a lot of times what you'll see is the silver shaft on a jack, even though the jack is supposed to be retracted. What we do to test for cylinder bypass is first you want to take the hose off the top fitting and with the jack retracted there's no pressure on the hose. Next you want to take the restrictor fitting out of the top of the jack. Now the restrictor fitting it's called a restrictor fitting for the reason that if you look at the hole on the inside of the restrictor fitting, it's about the size of a paper clip. And the reason why we do this is so if you ever have a hose break or have an issue, this restrictor fitting will keep the jack from slamming or keep the unit from slamming down and the jack retracting rapidly. So that's the reason why we put the restrictor fittings in. But for this test, you want to take this restrictor fitting out. And the reason why is because with that restrictor fitting, for this test specifically, what we do is we take the fitting out, we wipe off the cylinder, because you will have fluid coming out of it, you wipe it down, and for the test, after you get the restrictor fitting removed, you go to your touchpad and you hit all retract. So at your touch pad, once you got the restrictor fitting removed and the hose off, you just hit all retract. The pump will build pressure, and if there's any issue with that cylinder, you will have fluid coming out of the top of it. So as you can tell, this cylinder is good and does not bypass. So if you have any other questions about our components, please visit us at EqualizerSystems.com.